Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020. In a recent live stream, somebody asked me to fly to 747 under the Golden Gate Bridge and I said that the result was interesting enough to post to YouTube. You'll see what I mean after the second try. I did two tries. And this is a live stream recording so the quality is a little bit low, unfortunately. But otherwise I thought it was serviceable. This was actually my first flight with the 747 in the game, so that was interesting. Anyway, here is my original commentary from the attempts. Am I clear to go under the Golden Gate Bridge Tower? 747 frequency change. Gosh, I should take a better look at the cockpit, huh? It's all these other people. I blame them for all the choppiness. Okay, maybe, maybe it's clear of the choppiness now. This is not the Golden Gate Bridge, this is the Bay Bridge. We're just uh, skimming this one. Uh, it's still choppy. They better have made the colliders on the Golden Gate Bridge right. The distance view on the bridges is really bad. I don't know, what's the height of the... What's the height of the deck of the Golden Gate Bridge anyway? United Flight Niner, turn next taxiway. Oh, it clipped my vertical stabilizer. That's not actually what happened game <laughs> I'm pretty sure our body passed below it man we're off the ground at V1 don't even tell me V1 if you're not gonna get it right <laughs> well there are two options for the voices there's Azure which has better voices and then there's the stock Microsoft Windows stuff but unfortunately for some reason Azure, sometimes if you use it, they don't have the voices play. They need to fix that. So I've got it on the default, uh, the Windows Microsoft voices instead of the Azure voices. For now, until they fix that. But the voices with Azure are probably better. Uh, splitting view was something that you used to be able to do with Flight Sim. I don't know how to do it right now. Yeah, I used to be able to make a little window with your external view. Does it have the new Bay Bridge? Good question. Um, well, I guess we'll go wide and see. I think, I mean, uh, looking right now, it looks like it does. I guess we'll go wide and take a look at that part of the span. It does have a suspension portion. It's certainly not the old, uh, the old look to it. I guess that's about it. I haven't actually been over the Bay Bridge since they built the new part. Uh, Alcatraz Island is in front of us right there on this path. Oh, maybe a little bit too close. I'm not feeling this approach as well as I did last time, but we'll see. We survived. Wait, you can hit something and still survive? That's new. I think... Hold on. I heard a bad sound like we hit the bridge. 
But we're clear. <laughs> well, hey, if they don't kill us, whatever doesn't kill you just makes you stronger. Right? Right. Well, there you have it. I don't know exactly what happened. Was it the vertical stabilizer that struck the Golden Gate Bridge? Did the bomb of the plane strike the ship underneath? Either way, uh, it turned out all right. We did not seem to have critical damage. And I was able to land at San Jose International Airport at the end, a little bit sloppily. I was rather distracted by all the other traffic and it was a little bit laggy, but uh, here was the landing run. So it didn't do damage to anything of note. I was able to land successfully. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.